Good morning. Hola. Namaste. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, viewers. Good morning. A very pleasant and beautiful morning today. And in today's Ayurveda Healing Spa Layu by Arunapatki, we will be learning the, the food group which is a uh, one of the most important food group in the in the food in the nutrition and yes absolutely there are different food groups as we talk in modern science about we talk about the carbohydrates we talk about the proteins we talk about the fat we talk about vegetable forms fiber form we talk about uh, dairy right so we do have a lot of different food groups in the modern science and in ayurveda we have the food groups where we are talking about the groups of the food which can help and which can be a customized or which can nourish the vata pitta kapha in the body okay so in ayurveda basically in ayurveda what we do is like we we like to know the person first we like to know the body type of the person and then as per the body type as a ayurvedic physician we like to customize and tailor the the nutrition guidelines the dietary guidelines the if the person is having some disorders or conditions in the body then in that case we like to um, add or delete some of the food some of the contents of the food some of the vegetables some of the proteins some of the carbs we would like to add either or delete from the food so that we can help and heal that person for that specific condition and that's exactly what we do in ayurveda is like we like to know the person we like to know the body type we like to know their daily food eating habits their daily food habits what what do they crave for what do they generally like to eat what do they often eat? What can be a causative factor, which is called it as a Hetu in Ayurveda. And we like to do the changes as per the, the, the factors what our client tells us during our evaluation, uh, during the consultation. Okay, this is Aruna Patki live for all of you to bring the secrets of Ayurvedic healing, the art of Ayurvedic nutrition because in Ayurveda and the basic line of self-healing, the basic line of helping yourself, the basic line of self-love, the basic line of self-care, the basic line of uh, healing yourself on the day-to-day -day basis, the basic line of understanding the food which is a compatible food or which is an incompatible food, the basic form of knowing the food and how the food can be your medicine, how if you eat the food in a proper way, in a certain way, in a certain quantity, in certain season, during the certain environment, then how that all contributes in the form of the healing. Okay, so today for this purpose, I have a very uh, important food, which is a carb in the diet. Okay, and we'll be talking about the carbohydrates in today's session. 
and yes please do send me some emojis or send me some love if you hear me well and if you see me well okay yeah give me some thumbs up if you see me well so today's topic is another form of the carb and why carbohydrates are also a very important form to eat on a regular basis and yes as a as whatever i am sharing and guiding on my ayurveda healing spa page by aruna patki this is all information for you just for your general awareness you are uh, creating some more awareness about the food not to meant to treat anybody's condition or not to treat anybody's imbalances what you watch on my youtube channel which is uh, aruna patki's healing for mind body and soul health so please do like my channel which is youtube channel i created so that i can reach many more people and i can give all these simple ways of living and simple ways of creating the nutritious food simple ways of healing on the day to day basis and yes i need all of your help to share this information with many more around us yes i with my 20 years of practice in the united states i am very happy to share my experiences with all of you and what i have observed in the 20 years of practice is like how this food concept is so tough how this food concept is so hard to do to practice and to offer to my clients okay so let's start with this today's carbohydrate absolutely we have a extract of the food and in today's a uh, session what we will be using is tapioca and yes we will be using tapioca so what i did yesterday night like 8 to 10 hours before i took the tapioca i washed it very well okay you wash it well very well like i washed it two to three times and i tried to remove all the uh, the extra covering and powder what they add to the food okay so i remove all of that i wash it literally like i'm uh, like the way we wash the grains okay and i remove all that stickiness and then i just remove all the water i strain it and just keep it like this whatever the level i have the tapioca the most important key here is like you you need to have the water until only that level so if your tapioca is here you keep the water here if your tapioca is here you just pour enough water to to uh, to let the tapioca uh, absorb it and get ready for us to prepare the dish in the morning okay so tapioca is a raisin it's a very it's a extract from the it's a extract from the plant okay and the cassava plant we talk about a lot about this plant if you know the uh, the plant the feeling of the tapioca you will see it's like a kind of a, a jelly or slimy kind of thing when you cook it okay and exactly what i need is like when it is properly soaked in the water overnight minimum 8 to 10 hours then the key how you will know that this is properly soaked in the water is like you press it and when it makes like this powder okay so it i can press it very well and if you see it's it's easy to penetrate okay that's it okay so now the most important thing why ayurveda has all these beautiful cues of cooking i would like to share with in today's session yes this extract of cassava gen, uh, is a is a very good food for the vata and pitta type of people okay this is good for people who are lean in the or very lean in the body type or um uh, like who are, who have a lot of um excess vata in the body okay so this is this pacifies the vata disorders as well as this pacifies the pitta disorder depending upon what is the level of imbalance in that person 
but it at the same time it aggravates the mucus it aggravates the kapha in the body okay so let's see the ingredients what we need for today's session so we have a tapioca over, uh, soaked eight hours before in the water and now it's ready and if you see this this is very very uh, not sticky it's dry and you can separate the the grains okay now the second ingredient i will be using is potato it's a potato peeled washed and cubed then i have two to three chilies so either if you like the heat then you can go with this size okay but if you do not, if you are not a fond of a chili and if you just need a chili for a test, then you can cut the chili in this form and it's ready to use. Okay. The most important key ingredient here is our ghee. And I will be cooking in today's say, uh, tapioca in ghee. And why you should cook it in the ghee, I will give the reason later on. And then the dry seeds, the spice, what we will be using is our special in Ayurveda which is a cumin okay and the most important but not the least is our salt and I will be using the pink salt Sandhava today Sandhava is the most digestive and a pure form of the salt which Ayurveda suggests to use on the day-to-day -day basis but sometimes I like the sea salt also so I like to get some time the sea salt also okay so there are variations of salt I use like four to five different salts in my cooking but today I will be using only the pink salt okay which is Himalayan pink salt now let's start with our process and now the pot is nice and warm the first thing which is going to go here see the way I do not need a lot of oil or lot of moisturizer or a lot of ghee i just need enough but the e key is like what i'm going to do is like i'm going to spread the corners of the pot so that the tapioca when you're cooking it will not stick to the pot okay got it so the first thing which is going in uh, in this one is i'm going to put my potatoes first just to cook a potato a little bit and bring it out and then we will do the other thing if you cook the potatoes and your tapioca together okay then it is not going to uh, it is going to be very sticky okay because tapioca is is a starch potato is a starch and a lot of uh, time when you, if you do not know how to mix it well when you're cooking then it's going to make it more sticky okay so let's cook this for a minute and until it is going to cook what we need to do I just let, let give it a minute it will be cooked in a minute because this is a cast iron pot and in the cast iron the things cook so well and fast and good okay now the most important ingredient another one more ingredient what we need for this is like a peanuts if you are allergic to this peanuts then you can use the almonds okay i am going to use peanuts as this comes as a legume family and i like peanuts as i uh, i am satmesh to the peanuts that means i used the peanuts in my food from my childhood so my body is used to this food okay now i'm going to cover the lid and put this this is in the blender and then we will be just covering this and i just need to blend it for a second okay ready Ta -da! so we do not need this in a powdery form I like a little bit chunk of the peanuts okay all right so here you come again to the main step and if you see this these are almost like a caramelized they are brown and in a 30 seconds we will remove it and we will put it aside okay Ayurveda is nothing but the way the the beautiful way of cooking the beautiful way of 
offering the things and combinations of the food in a specific way so that it can help the body to heal properly and absorb the nutrients properly if if you do not cook in a specific way then that is not going to get absorbed in the body okay here you go let me check if it is it's uh, if it is going let me make sure that it is cooked absolutely if you see this that means it's good enough and it is going to get steamed later on with the other food so it can infuse well okay so the technique of cooking everybody i know everybody loves to cook and everybody cooks for their family for their friends and most of my clients i observed is like they are willing to cook my um, what i observed is like they are willing to cook but the most important thing is like i don't know how to cook and that is what a biggest challenge i have in my practice for my clients that they they are unable to cook because they are not used to the cooking and they don't know how to cook so it's a, it's a big thing in my practice that i when i am trying to heal and balance someone i need to go to the root and i need to change them from the first step so that i can take their health to the next level yes now now we remove the potatoes the potatoes are aside they are sitting here well the another thing which in the the oil is nice and warm i'm just going to put this cumin seeds as cumin seeds are very important in ayurveda and i'm going to add the green chilies and let it dance in the oil okay so chili why i am using specifically this combination everything what you observe in my cooking is all about a lot of logics of ayurvedic cooking a lot of logics of the art of ayurvedic concepts of cooking and when you are doing this you need to understand the sequencing of the food the cook, like the the compatibility in the food and which food goes very well with the other food you cannot put the contrast food together that is what all the learning about the ayurvedic food is okay so now our green chili if you see the, it's it's sorted right that's good enough for us now i'm going to add our soaked tapioca in the oil here you go and now i will be adding this powder right this is exactly what we are looking for i i like the chunk i do not like very thin powder i like some chunks in the food that's why i have it through like a little bit big chunks chunky okay and i'm going to stir it well and i will add the salt here so as i told you you add the salt as per your taste okay salt is important in the food you cannot uh, in ayurveda we use the salt and ghee and they both has a very important role as there are six test in the food and we like to think about all the different test of the food when we are eating ayurvedically okay and what is the important why uh, nowadays why the world is going towards ayurveda or the ayurvedic cooking or why people are getting so much attracted towards ayurveda let me give you the reason but until then Uh, to my all new viewers, this is Aruna Patki. 
I would like you all to share my YouTube channel, like my, subscribe my channel, subscribe my uh, YouTube channel so that and do like my channel, subscribe it and do ring the bell so that you will be getting all these secrets of healing with me. Not only the food, there will be so many different variations of techniques I will be teaching. And if you would like to know it first, then you are more welcome to ring the bell. Okay, here you go. So what we did now, we added enough salt. And salt, if you have a lot of swelling on the body or if you have a lot of... Uh, heart issues or if you have a lot of accumulation of water on your body then you need to think about your quality uh, so quantity of the salt okay you need to consult with your doctor and ask your doctor how much and what uh, that all okay how much salt the quantity of the salt whether it's good for you or not that all is very important when you are healing someone okay so what i see here I'm going to cover the lid and uh, give it a minute or two. Until then, I will be getting some some walnuts. some walnuts and some almonds and then I'll be giving it one more stir here because if you are allergic to salt this is what you can do okay and here you go so we are ready with the, our another powder this is optional okay guys definitely all you can choose and pick and do the things if you are allergic to the certain food do not use that into your food when you are cooking this is all about general awareness creating the awareness through this class through this live and through this youtube channel so please do like my youtube channel and share with your friends and family if you think they can learn from this and yes absolutely we will be offering a lot of different ways of healing in this channel for sure Give me some thumbs up if you see this and if you started liking it and I am started like smelling it because of the infusion of all this all this fruit. Okay, so if you see this good now this is the time where we are going to add our another ingredients. Okay, so this walnuts and almonds are going in and this is the time where I'll be adding a lemon juice so why hands is very important in Ayurveda if you use a lot of machines and they see i know now how much strength i have in my hand and at the same time i know my fingers i have a good flexibility in my fingers you know otherwise when i see a lot of clients in my practice who are suffering with arthritis who are suffering with um, fibromyalgia and all of that or who are suffering with some uh, stiff stiffness in the hands you know or some specific conditions where your muscles gets very tight in the body right so when i see all of these in my practice i i like my clients to learn these basic concepts of healing so i give my clients uh, squeezing balls and this is exactly what i'm doing if you see this i'm squeezing the lemon right so i don't have a separate time to do my exercise my cooking is my exercise cooking is my uh, cooking is my is my way of healing myself and i put my whole energy in the cooking okay so here you go 
now let's mix it well and let all of this cook for another few more minutes so make sure that your heat is not too much you cannot cook this on the high heat okay or high flame no you need to cook this guys this is something i cooked two different varieties of ghee for one of my client this is a ghee which i prepared from herbs and spices and yes with the turmeric okay so this ghee is special for my one of the client i'm just getting to get use that spatula as this is easy to move my food any questions any thoughts do you think this is easy for you do you think you can make it kindly let me know put some comments how did you like this recipe and if you are going to cook it it's very simple it just like you need to have proper co proper con combinations of this recipe okay see you do not need to add another carb into the carb okay but only for the test and likings of my kids i'm going to put this carb okay so with this carb i'm adding the another carb okay and i'm going to give it a nice stir here and if you see this exactly mix it well now it's cooking it will take another two more minutes and this will be ready for us for the final looks so the raisin this is a raisin of a plant cassava okay so this definitely increases the mucus in the body this is a kapha this increases the kapha in the body so and it pacifies the vata and pitta in the body so when you are talking about the vata pitta and the pacification it's very important the combinations of the food that's what we talked until now right so this has a potency which is a cool potency as this is like a earthy food this food is heavy this food is high heavy content of the carb okay so the quantity of the food when you are eating it and the the supplement which will go with this food is very important and in that case i use buttermilk along with this food because they go very well together okay so buttermilk and this tapioca goes very very well together this is a food with a earth element in it excessive form of the earth okay so when you cook it this food this food nourishes targets specifically the lungs in your body it 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 goes directly to the lungs and sinuses it increases the mucus and congestion in the chest area so if you are suffering with cough and congestion and cold and respiratory infection and some disorders with the upper chest area your sinuses are blocked you have a migraine you have a lot of um, headache then this is not a good choice of the food okay so food is directly related with your symptoms you, you, your symptoms can go up and down the dip, uh, depending upon what you are offering to your body if you have certain conditions in the body okay here you go this is ready guys i am going to turn it off it takes total 10 to 15 minutes not more than 20 minutes okay i'm just going to check the test of my the salt and you do not do with this i'm so used to the cooking so i'm directly putting my hands in the pot but you use the spoon perfect lime juice perfect salt perfect kick of the heat which is the chili that's it nothing else but this is the time if you are fond of some cilantro you can add some cilantro here if you are fond of some peas green peas this is the time you can add a green peas and turn it off okay 
if you are fond of some more extra mixed vegetables this is the time when you add your extra vegetables into it and guys please do like my youtube channel dr aruna patki's healing for mind body and soul health and i would like you to subscribe it and like it and share it with your friends and family and this is a food which is a carbohydrate and the proper way of cooking the carbohydrate and the proper way of healing the body with the carbs this is exactly the way you need some digestive agents you need some digestive and carminative food along with the carb so that the carb can get absorbed in the body in a proper way because as this is a heavy food this food sits in the intestine and it absorbs a lot of water okay it absorbs the water so it creates the dryness and people might suffer with the constipation if they eat this food in a excessive quantity okay so thank you once again please visit our youtube channel the link is on my ayurveda healing spa page i will add the link here also this is exactly see there is no stickiness even tapioca itself is a is a cell is a sticky with gooey food right tapioca itself is gooey right but see if you see the proper way of cooking do you see any gooeyness here do you see it this is all separated right so you need to cook it properly and for this you do not need to have a lot of oil oil ghee plays way if you know how to cook properly you do not need them in a excessive form you just need them enough to cook your food properly and thank you once again for coming on ayurveda healing spa live i would like you all to take a moment here and let's finish our session of today's recipe another form of carb which is tapioca and which we cooked with tapioca today i'm going to let it sit for another one more minute and until then we will finish our session just close your eyes take a moment here think about the food what you are going to eat today and see how you are going to cook it and if you have gone through my videos please do like my youtube channel i have a uh, youtube channel and dr arunapath keys for healing mind body and soul health i will appreciate it and please do share let's finish our session this is a very compatible food a food which is going to nourish the body and offer the energy but this carb can be a heavy carb so you need to cook it in a proper way and you had to add certain things to to dilute that heaviness of the carb okay so this is your arunapath ki live from ayurveda healing spa and let's finish our session with the mantra om why i do the mantra om at the end of the session if you would like to know the secret of that then please do come and li like our youtube channel and be on our live in the evening session okay let's finish the session take a deep breath one more oh Ciao. Be healthy, be happy, be peaceful. Thank you. Namaste.